Hey guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am joined here with my bearded dragon, Prim, here to show you how to take care of their hygiene. Now, they're not quite as complicated as a dog or cat, but they are a little more complicated than like a snake. And while they don't necessarily have to have baths, there are situations in which they will need a bath, and odds are you're going to have to do it at some point. They also need their nails trimmed. So we are going to be talking about those today and I will be showing you how to do those at home. So first up is bathing. I guess she's leaving. Okay, so let's talk about bathing. There are benefits to bathing your bearded dragon. And when I say bathing, I do not mean to like use soap or anything like that. It's just plain warm water. We'll get more into that in a moment. So for one, bathing is really good for their hydration. So a lot of bearded dragons will not drink like water from a bowl, sanding water. You usually have to get like moving water, like a fountain of some kind for that if you want them to drink water in their enclosure. I also offer mine a little bath. I don't know if you can see it in there. Um, I usually offer her water in that, but whenever they are in a bath, they are encouraged to drink it and they also get some of it through their skin regardless. Another thing that baths will help with is poop. So them sitting in water usually encourages them to poop. And that means that you don't have to worry about it in their enclosure. It's a much easier cleanup. So this especially happens when you have a bearded dragon like mine. My bearded dragon gets baths every other day because she poops about every other day. And Prim does not like to poop in her enclosure. So she kind of tells us she needs to go by running around her enclosure and freaking out. However, if this happens when we're asleep or at work, she... She will poop in her enclosure and what follows is that she will then run through it and get it all over herself and all over her enclosure. So all you're going to need to do to give your bearded dragon a bath is something to bathe them in. Plenty of people do it in their sinks. I personally don't like doing that. So she actually has like a large critter keeper that you'll see here in a minute that she bathes in. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. You want this to be plain, lukewarm water. I do treat mine with Reptisafe to get rid of some of that chlorine in our water. So you want the level of the water about where it is here, where it's kind of over the back legs, a little bit on the back here but she is still able to keep her chin above the water comfortably. And like I said, you're going to want lukewarm water, room temperature water, if you will, so that way it's not too cold or too hot, of course. If your bearded dragon does start to freak out in the tub, it could be an indication that your temps are incorrect. And if this water does start to cool off, you can always replace it. And now you can just leave them in here to soak. They shouldn't have to have that long of a soak though. She's going to get a bit of a longer soak, just because she did run through that poop earlier. So I'm just going to leave her in here. And of course I am going to close this. Now if she starts getting really fed up with the bath, I will take her out of course. Alrighty, and she's just going to hang out in here. And in the meantime, I'm going to use this opportunity to clean her enclosure very nicely, especially since, like I said, she did have that um, nice surprise for us this morning. Alrighty, and now Prim is done with her soak. Now, if you are just doing a soak, you could pretty much end the process right now, dry her off, put her back. However, she likes to make my life difficult. So we have to scrub her. So I just use one of these. It's just from the dollar store, um, nothing too fancy. You can also just use a toothbrush and just gently scrub off any of that nastiness. So since she doesn't like it whenever I bathe her, I have to kind of perch her feet like so, so that I can easily get to these bits that she has poop all over. When it comes to shed, of course, make sure they are shedding normally and really watch those toes and their tail tips. It's good to keep in mind that this is probably a scary experience for a lot of lizards, especially whenever they aren't used to it. So just keep that in mind when you are doing this they might get kind of stressed out. Just be patient with them and do it on their time. 
And just like that, Prim is done with her bath. All right, and now on to clipping nails. Clipping nails is super, super easy. So all you are going to need to do is get some nail clippers. Again, you can get these at the Dollar Tree even, and they can be regular nail clippers. Um, I like to get the small ones or the baby ones because they're a little easier to use on your bearded dragon's claws. It is super important to clip your bearded dragon's nails because much like a dog, when they do get too long, it'll start hindering their walking. So not only will it be painful for you whenever they claw you, but also will be painful for your bearded dragon. Over time, it will become more and more painful for them to walk, causing them to walk strange and will sometimes permanently damage their feet. It is also important to note that you just do it on as needed basis. If you have tile in your enclosure or some kind of stone or any textile type of flooring, then you can probably get away with never having to clip your bearded dragon's nails as these will naturally file them down for you, but still keep an eye on it. I do have some stone in my enclosure, but I do still have to do the occasional nail trim. You can also use a Dremel for your bearded dragon's nails. However, I have no experience with that. Now Prim here doesn't really need a nail trim, so I'm just going to demonstrate how you do this. So bearded dragons, just like dogs, will have a quick and you don't want to cut that. It'll be very, very obvious where the quick is and it's super easy to do. So you're just going to snip the thin black nail that is coming off of that quick just before the quick. And that's really all there is to it. Most bearded dragons are pretty calm during this process. So there's not too much to worry about, but if your bearded dragon is causing a fuss, you can always get a second pair of hands to help you out if you have anyone willing and just take it at the bearded dragon's pace and you should be good. And with that, that is really all I have for you guys today. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something or at the very least found this entertaining. Give this video a like for the algorithm. All of my links, including my Instagram account, my art Instagram account, commissions are open, my Facebook group, and my wife and I's Etsy, where we sell some crafty stuff as well as some snail protein mix for your pet snails. So go check those out if you are interested. Comment down below what you guys want to see from me next. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you are into this kind of content or really any animal kind of content. I upload every single Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but you can hit the bell if you don't want to remember that. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.